So Molly was going to join me in this video. I don't know if she's going to just stay there. She apparently just wants to sit on my chest. I'm probably going to put her down in a minute because I keep getting hair like sticking to my mouth. Molly, say hello. She's like, I'm a dog, I don't talk, you stupid woman. All right, you can get down. You gonna get down? Say hi. No, she doesn't look amused. She just wants to sit on me. Look, she's just there like, love me. Hi. You should see. It's pathetic, but so cute. Anyway, hi, welcome to my pregnancy vlog. I'm 20 weeks pregnant. I'm gonna stop talking about my dog now and actually talk about what this video is for and what people have clicked, like, to watch it for. Um, I'm a moron, sorry about that. So, yes. 20 week pregnancy vlog, I'm 21 weeks today. I've actually squeezed in time this morning, though if I carry on talking crap for ages, there is gonna be no point to this. Um, so yeah, the previous week has been so far my favorite week of pregnancy, not even kidding, it's been so much better than any other week. I'm really grateful, I've actually had a really good week. I don't know if that is partly because I felt like Lisa again, rather than like dying woman. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna show off my hair because I got my hair done. Uh, I don't know if it's coincidence, if, you know, I don't I don't know what it is, but I just know that I felt a lot better this week. I haven't really felt sick at all, which I'm probably going to end up puking my guts up tonight now just as a, you know, slap to the face for saying that. But I don't care because I've enjoyed the week of not really feeling sick. I've hardly had any sickness, or if I have, it's been really fleeting and I don't really remember anything about it. And that fringe is driving me insane. Um... Then, what else was it? Heartburn, nowhere near as bad. I still get quite a lot of that, uh, but I just take the Rennie. Problem solved, it's not an issue. The only things that have been annoying me this week, and it's only really of an evening, is that sciatica hasn't quite gone. And I'm getting pelvic pain, and my feet swell up on hot days. A little bit. Not really a proper edema, as in, um, they feel hot and tingly and a bit puffy at the end of the day. That's it, Darren rubs them every now and then, bless his cotton, so I will have to pay him in some way or another. I just don't know what yet. And, um... That's it. I, I just honestly, it's been fantastic. I've been incredibly, incredibly lucky. Uh, you, as you may have noticed, my kitchen has been done. It's completely, the old one was completely ripped out, walls plastered, ceiling done, new units, new tiles, the whole thing. It was literally a shell. In fact, there was holes. Uh, I'm doing a vlog um, about the kitchen that I'm going to upload hopefully next week if all goes well. I might wait until I've wallpapered the back wall, can't decide yet. And, um, to show what it's like and I'll show you the fact that I had holes in my walls it was kind of crazy so um, I've been really grateful because I haven't been able to live normally I've had my kitchen in my living room and it's all been a little bit crazy and manic and it's been ridiculously hot and I think partially maybe that's helped because where the previous week I was trying to blitz the cupboard downstairs and the lounge and although I really enjoyed that it was kind of sort of stressful waiting for everything to come in. And I've got to say, I've put everything back in the kitchen. I've blitzed the lounge, I've blitzed the kitchen. I'm feeling really, really good. It's just, I'm definitely a happier place. I just, it's weird what makes me happy. And um, blitzing rooms and having things clean and organized and tidy really does make me feel like a very happy person. Um, I've realized I have some problems. It's fine. But, um, I think that's actually helped, or I don't know if it's helped because I feel so much better, I feel like Lisa again. Uh, I get a little bit tired when it gets really hot, but in the mornings it's not so bad, so I was able to get um, a few things done in the morning before it got really, really hot. And like yesterday, it was just absolutely perfect because I managed to completely clean the lounge and the kitchen over, and the, I, the previous night before when it cooled down, I put everything away in the kitchen. Um, and I just sat down and I was like, oh, this is awesome. I picked Edith up from uh, play school just as it was getting hot, so we had lunch. And then we literally both just lay, lounged on the sofas and chilled. She had a nap, I didn't. I tried to, but you know, it wasn't happening. But it was just absolutely, it was just like my favorite day ever. It really was, well, not ever, but one of my favorite days and definitely my favorite day in this pregnancy because I felt really productive and I felt like me again and I got so much stuff done and I didn't feel bad. And then when it got hot, I got to like chill out on the sofa and just know my little one was sleeping. And then I got the bigger two from school. And it was just a really, really, really lovely day. And then I ate like a moose last night, which was not so great but Darren rubbed my feet so it was okay so yeah he might say I have the minor minor temper tantrum of an evening very minor 
not really masses of moaning. He might not agree with me, but that's like the worst thing is that I'm like, oh, of an evening, oh, I ache, my feet's one, but that's kind of it. I should film myself actually, so you can see what I'm like. Um, Darren would probably happily do that and humiliate me. But yeah, that's the only time I'm really grumpy is of an evening. I'm just like, oh God, my feet ache, I've got Braxton Hicks, I'm tired, I'm grumpy, I've got heartburn, ugh. And that is kind of what I'm like. And, but I don't generally have too many hissy fits. Though I did actually go mental at him last night because he was shaving his beard in the bathroom. And like little bits of beard hair were going everywhere. And I was like, you better tidy that up. I was proper pregnant woman. Um, I was like, you better tidy that up. If I come in this bathroom in the morning and there is hair all over that sink and all over the floor, I will drive to your work just so I can punch you in the face. Okay, I've never punched him in any part of his body, let alone his face. But that was me last night, you should have seen it. I, looking back, I was awesome. I don't think he agrees, but I personally think I was great. But yes, of course, I got up this morning and there are hairs on the sink and I'm like, because he's doing it, that was the best face ever. He does it every week, he trades it. Anyone else has a husband do that? They trim their beard like a total tart. I mean, just have a beard or don't have a beard. Stop being so bloody girly about trimming it and making it look pretty. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And then if he cleaned it up after properly, so I didn't find little beardy hairs all over the bathroom, I wouldn't be nutty pregnant woman. Instead, I am nutty pregnant woman with an annoying fringe because he doesn't. He doesn't clean it up. And then I want to hurt him a little bit. Like, ooh. I haven't actually done anything. I'm not mean, but I, I, I do think that's possibly slightly the hormones because I don't necessarily feel quite so inside like enraged by it normally but he should just learn to clean up his beard hair simple wouldn't have a ranting pregnant woman on your hands if you just cleaned up or just aimed over the sink not the sink and half the bathroom you know see ranting still I'm gonna shut up now but yeah so that's it and now this one's even longer awesome I suck sorry I'm gonna go and I will see you next week and I'll put the kitchen vlog up at some point for anyone that's interested in the process of getting kitchen done. Like anybody cares really, but I'm gonna quite like to look back at it and be like, oh, I remember when I had holes in my walls, that was cool. Um, yeah, okay, so have a wonderful week and I will speak to you all soon, bye.